Yes, okay. Yes, okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, what can you do? Let's see. I took the lake down. So this is the Chinese officials. So these are the representative of the Chinese opp oppressors. Yes, <laughs> That's good.
Tibet, who have strived to keep the Tibetan spirit and culture alive over the past 37 terrible years of Chinese occupation. March 10th, however, is not just a day for remembering the past. It is also a day when we Tibetans in exile can stand in solidarity with our many friends and supporters and look forward to the day when Tibetan will once again be free. Taiwan and Hong Kong. It is as if the Chinese leadership believes that international community has to but I believe that on this uprising day we must stand shoulder to shoulder and ask the people and governments of Australia, Canada, the United States and other democracies to reaffirm their commitment to the fundamental human rights of the Tibetan people. Thank you. Yes, we ended up in Laza and witnessed the a massacre of Tibetan demonstrating for freedom by the, the Chinese police opened fire with AK-47 and 7 and 9 millimeter automatic pistols. As I remember back to that time, besides being terrified, I was absolutely feeling hopeless and helped go to the hospitals because they were Chinese hospitals. That granting most favored nation status to China has absolutely eliminated any incentive for China to negotiate, to bargain, to make, to um, come in any way to the negotiating table, to in any way improve, promote, and stick up for human rights in Tibet and human rights in China. In face of this opposition, I again ask what we can do. Are we helpless? We are not. The first thing that we must do is realize that China's government is an illegitimate government. Any government that oppresses its people the way China does does not represent its people. It does not have any mandate for its people. So in realizing this, we must see that it is up to us to help overthrow that government. There is no greater power than, than, than the power of the people. For free people everywhere in the world, for Tibetans in exile, for everyone who is outside of Tibet who can, who can speak up, it is our moral obli obligation. What we can do, we've been talking about this at the conference, the, the boycott of goods made in China and civil disobedience. Um, these are just a few of the things that we can do. 
I would like to say that I have never been for, uh, ready to launch a nationwide and worldwide divestment of all investment in China and also a divestment. I sincerely believe um, that we are going to see a new spirit of activism sweep across this country and around the world. It should end in the United Nations. It ends in Laza and all of us are going. Thank you. I now invite Mr. Lokhan Senge and the Chinese leaders in Beijing should hear us that as far as Pension Lama's controversy is concerned, you, the pseudo-communist, does not understand what religion is all about. Don't mess with our religion. Tibetan Buddhism is sacred in its own way. His Holiness the Dalai Lama has a legitimate right to recognize who the Pension Lama is and he has rightly done so, so let it be. Don't mess with our religion. And as for Tibet, you have suppressed and tortured us for the past 40 years, but it has become an issue of the 90s. It has become the issue of the 90s. Ireland is getting solved, Palestine is getting solved, and Bosnia is getting solved. Now is the turn of the Tibet. Time for Tibet has come. Yeah. The is coming up. Tibetan women showed you in Beijing, in your own land, that what we can do. In the uh, Beijing Women Conference, just seven women showed you that we have a force. Though non-violent it may be, but we have our own force. And as for the hunger strikers, they showed you once again, we are very less in number, but no matter how strong and powerful you are, but we are, we are peaceful, but we can do it, and we can show it to you that we are still a force. And aid organization in government in exile and Tibetan in exile have boycotted Chinese goods and they're going to take, take this momentum right inside Tibet. Now, as for the coming events, civil disobedience movement has been launched, and it will take effect inside Tibet as well as outside Tibet. And the American students have called for diverse men, and the people in the building and the Chinese leader in Beijing should know that you are going to be hit where it hurt most, your economy. And there will be a march from here to New York, and it will show you throughout the days for a month that Tibet is not dead, but it's alive and kicking. Not alive and kicking, but it will hit you where it hurt most. And we, the Tibetan people, and the supporters will free Tibet soon. Thank you. Now to represent the women power of Tibet, may I invite Sering Yangdun of the Tibetan Women's Association. Um, I thank you all for coming. I'm glad to see many Tibetan countries from tyranny and illegal occupation. So. Free our homeland! Many years, in fact, we have an organization called the Allied Committee. Sorry. And let's we have also been working together as a member of UNPO. It gives us a great feeling of friendship and warmth to see you here. I wanted to ask one of you, I believe it's going to be our brother Anwar Yusuf, I want you to come and speak to us. And we are with you together. We know that you are with us, let's fight together. Brother Yusuf, please come and speak to us. Dear ladies and gentlemen, and the brothers and sisters, please don't think that the Tibetans, all, Tibetans are the only people who have been suffering from the brutal Chinese regime. We Eastern Turkestanis also suffering as the Tibetans people. But until today, because of our worst luck, our voice has not been reached to the free world yet. But recently, we have, we have been established at Eastern Turkestan National Freedom Center in Washington, D.C., dedicated to, dedicated human rights issue in Eastern Turkestan. We, we bordered... Historically, we have an excellent relationship with Tibetan people. We have been supporting each other. As long as we have been suffering from the same pain, we have to support ourselves in the future until we gain our freedom 
from the People's Republic of China. Yeah. 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 Is there anything that we human beings can do to, to stop this Chinese atrocity? Or do we have to leave it to the final judgment, to God's decision? I think we can do something and then leave the rest of the things to God. This is my perception. Language yeah, sounds yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bugün yani Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nin Washington DC'de yani Hürriyet'in merkezi olan bir cayağı kilip Şarkı Türkistan'ın avazını, derdimiz ne, arzuyumuz ne, Amerika halkı'ya yetkizmiş bizim için nahayet mutluluk. Biz bu mutlulukla kadri kıymeti getip hemimiz ıtıbaklaşıp yani en bütün dünya tarihi de bütün dünyanın gulubu şerir karışanla bütün dünya müstakilliğini efketti. Yalnız bir şerkı Türkistan Uygurları müstemmik olup kapkettik. Bütün dünya anlasın. Dünya kulubu şeride. Bir tane şerkı Türkistan müstemmik Uygur. Bye bye Katy, bye bye everybody. Have a safe trip. Okay, see you soon. Başına vardı kaldı ki ne yaparımız? Bugün yani tahminen 50 kilometre dek yol besip oldu. Bu namayışının məqsidi tanıştık bölən Taylanın Şarıq Türkistan və Tibetini işğal qılışıq qarşı elib berilib atıqan bir namayış. Məqsid Şarıq Türkistanının və Tibet xalqının avazını Amerika xalqıqa və hükumətəgə cümlədən tütün dünya xalqıqa namayan qılışının ibarətdir. Bu tanıştık yürüyüşü, yani namayış Tibet halkının siyasi ve dini rehberi Dalai Lama'nın çoğun aksi Profesör Norbu tarafından teşkilendirken bulup Yani bunun da asasiyatın küçük kalan kişi Larry diyen kişi manmış oldu. 
aldır yani şapkasını kaltek kısırıp mangan kişi. Mane bu bizim yurttaşlarımız bilen beraber gelmekte olan kişinin ismi Nur bu. Bizim cançılarımız Kırkistan'ın bayrakını ve şuarını kütürep ağırmayı tanımayı yöldürüp gidiyor atı da. Bu yolculuk 46 gün sürdü. Az bugün yani tötüncü günü. Kilovatkan bu bayrak götürüp kilovatkan bir bu kişi. Yani Tibet halkının ki en kıymetli zatlardan bir olarak Kıtay'ın kırmızıda 35 yıl yetki çıkan. Hazır ülkenin hissiyatlarını Amerikalı bayan kılmakta. Hi, how are you? Is she our dog? Yeah. He has been keep following us. For for a while. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. You know, even the dog is following us. Yeah, it's wonderful. Hi. <laughs> How's work? Very, very, very good. <laughs> Thanks. He's very friendly. Yeah. Hello, doggy. He's a new walker. <laughs> We've gained one. Yes. Man, but dark kilowatt can't catch it. Time to move to the old metal yatta. Kilowatt working. Hello. Hello. How's work? Good. <laughs> yeah, very nice weather. Uh. Hello, Norbo. How's the world going? <laughs> very nice weather, huh? Nice, nice. Sunny day, that's mm -hmm. very nice.
Alabanda vefes sıkıntıydı. Do you want do you want this too? Or just you guys. Thank you.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the march. In Taiwan Relations Act, the United States has insisted on as a, one of the worst black people in the world. We, Eastern Turkestani people, would like to express our support for the independence of Taiwan. Almost at the same time when the Communist China took power in 1949, it invaded Tibet, Taiwan, East Turkestan, and Inner Mongolia. Ever since then, China has been constantly violating the human rights of this of this region. China's violation of the human rights of this world is unbearable. We don't have any so we don't have any patient anymore. We are brothers and sisters. We have to unite and raise our voice to the free world and to fight the People's Republic of China to get our freedom and independence. We, Eastern 
Pakistani people entirely different nation from Chinese linguistically, culturally, historically, and geographically. And I think and the Tibetans, Taiwanese, and the Inner Mongolian peoples are the same. We have been oppressed by China ever since China's occupation our territory. So, I like to express our strong willingness for the independence of Tibet, East Turkestan, or South Turkestan. So, we have to fight together. Freedom for Taiwan. Freedom for Taiwan. Freedom for East Turkestan. Freedom for East Turkestan. Freedom for Tibet. Freedom for Tibet. Freedom for Inner Mongolia. Freedom for Inner Mongolia. China out of Taiwan. China out of Taiwan. China out of East Turkestan. China out of East Turkestan. China out of Tibet. Excellent, excellent. Now I think I'm going to give this podium back to our Grand Marshal, Grand Marshal Winston Dam, and he would lead us from here to the Capitol Hill, and we'll begin promptly begin there shortly after 12 o'clock. Thank you, and thank you again. Independent East Turkestan! Independent East Turkestan! Independent East Turkestan!